it is tier list day we're back with another one i have done this for classic vanilla i've done this for burning crusade remake and now we're doing it for the wrath of the lich king we're covering the dungeon tier list now for those of you who don't know i've been playing wow for like 20 some odd years now on and off and back what like it's been three or four years ago they decided to revamp the original game uh, with new servers and all that fun stuff. And now it's progressed into the third expansion, Wrath of the Lich King, which is arguably a lot of people's favorite expansion. At least back when this was like retail WoW, it was at its peak. WoW had its most subscribers and most people online and yada, yada, yada. So... Where the game's at now, it's obviously a whole different. Um, if you guys, like I play Wrath still, so if you guys want more videos, I can always do more videos, but it's uh, not so exciting anymore. Um, I think it's kind of like a comfort nostalgia thing for me right now. The game itself is in a place where it's beyond easy and it's not really that exciting, but it's, it's fun, it's enjoyable. It's something that I can do on a Tuesday night and it's hang out with friends and whatnot. It's a good time. So we're going to jump into this and we're going to rate all the dungeons. If you know nothing about World of Warcraft, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> this probably isn't going to be too enjoyable for you. But if you do, let me know if you agree or not. So we're starting off and I'm going to rate these based off the heroic mode just because there's a little bit more. Um, the Nexus, I think, is as mid as you can get with a dungeon. I like the layout. The final boss is kind of cool because you got to do all the whole jumping mechanic. The other three bosses, I mean, I guess the one person, the one boss that throws you around is kind of cool. Um, I guess there's four other bosses, the little dwarf dude if you're Horde. Uh, it's just, it, it's, it's a clean cut, straight to the point dungeon. Nothing exciting, nothing too boring, but... You know, it is what it is. All right, the Oculus. I'm going to have an unpopular opinion. I think the Oculus is super fun. I think that they should have done more with the Dragon Mount uh, having abilities and stuff. And as you can see, with Dragonflight Retail being out and everyone loving the Dragon Riding, kind of shows that they should have done more with this a long time ago. Uh, basically, the dungeon you... Once you get to the first boss, you unlock the ability to jump on these dragons and they all have different abilities and you have to use those abilities to kind of go through the through the dungeon and the final boss you fight on the dragon and use only dragon abilities. I think it's a really exciting dungeon and I think it could be argued that it is one of the best dungeons in this expansion. Um, there are a couple that definitely beat it, but I think it's up there. Uh, Violet Hold... I would say Violet Hold's probably, probably the worst one. Uh, no, it, it's pretty boring. It's a wave mechanic type dungeon where you just, these boss, like it's 18 waves, every six waves a boss. I mean, some of the bosses in there are cool, like the water guy's unique. Uh, the, that's probably the only unique one. <laughs> Final boss is just a dragon that you tank and spank. The three uh, Terracar dudes are boring. I guess the the custodian, custodial dude, he's kind of tough if you got bad people. But it's not an exciting dungeon. The layout's boring. I mean, there's lore behind it, right? Like, these are the prisoners and shit, and you're just going to go in there and fucking kill them. But I also hate it because if you're an achievement person or you need one specific piece of gear off one specific guy like for your prebis you know it, you might not get him that dungeon so you gotta wait a full another day to do it and you still might not get it and then who knows how long it takes uh upguard keep <clears throat> i think is pretty pretty solid um eh, we're gonna put it actually in mid upguard keep is the most straightforward linear one and they're really now that i think about it, there's really not anything exciting in there um, the first boss is just a tank and spank. Second boss is two tank and spanks. And then I believe it's the, yeah, it's the final boss. And he's, 
He's uh, tanking, spanking, high behind a pillar. Uh, I think atmospheric wise, though, it's pretty cool. Like you're going through like a castle esque type thing. Uh, if that's what you want to call, it. I don't even know what you would call it. But it's it's a mid, a very mid dungeon. Uh, however, Utgard Pinnacle, I think, is extremely solid. It's it's same type of atmosphere, but the bosses are actually a lot of fun. First boss is kind of boring. Second boss, you fight a, like five monsters, and they're pretty boring. But then your third boss is super cool because he's like, you have to run down a long hallway, and he'll breathe fire down the whole hallway, and you gotta like go to one side, and then you fight the boss, and the boss is kind of straightforward, but not bad. And then the final boss is different than other final bosses. He actually does shit. So I think I guard Pinnacle is definitely up there um, as one that I enjoy doing. Um, the Old Kingdom is one of my least favorite ones. I Here's the thing. The Old Kingdom is boring as shit, but the final boss is super cool. Um, I think it's going to be bottom of mid so far. I think the final boss saves it from being vote kick someone so we can leave without getting deserter. Because it's so... Uh, I don't know. The whole dungeon's just boring and it's time consuming. But the final boss, what happens is when you get them to certain percentages, or I, I don't know if it's a timer, but he puts everyone in this weird like trance thing and you have to fight not only yourself but your other teammates um like co copies of them it's not hard it's definitely not hard but it's just kind of cool uh as joel i like as joel just because of the difficulty factor if you're trying to go for the achievements uh i i like the first boss i like the big spider boss and i do like the final boss even though it's kind of time consuming um but i like this just fast pace all the bosses are different and it's not the same rinse and repeat uh, Drac Theory and Keep. Uh, let me think. Okay, so Drac Theory and Keep. First boss is the the dude at the top of the stairs. He's a tank and spank. Second boss is just a time consuming bore of clearing waves that you can one shot at this point. And then tank and spanking the boss. The third one's the raptor. The raptor's kind of cool. This is another one. This is another one where the last boss saves it. The last boss is super cool because you'll turn you into a skeleton. You gotta like use different spells. None of this is hard, by the way. Keep this in mind while I'm discussing this. None of these dungeons are fucking hard, even on heroic. Like it's all cakewalk. Super boring cakewalk. But uh, I like the uniqueness of it. So I think Dractharian's gonna go right above Old Kingdom at very mid uh gundrak okay gundrak is definitely high solid in my eyes i absolutely love the layout of the dungeon i love how there's four separate entrances and i love the aesthetic it's like super cool all the colors are super cool i like most of the boss fights it fights um I, the first one's just kind of a tank and spank with spiders or not spiders snakes Second one, you got to fight the two different bosses to go back and forth. Uh, third one is used to be the hardest uh, achievement to get in uh, Five Man Heroics because you had to kick or interrupt and like it would get faster and faster. But now you can just burn them like it's super easy. Little hidden boss who spits on you is kind of cool. And the last boss is I think the last boss is actually the weakest part of the dungeon. He's pretty straightforward. He just kind of spins around and charges you, and that's about it. Uh, Halls of Lightning. I really enjoy Halls of Lightning. I don't know why I'm getting a brain fart of what the first boss. Oh no, first boss is you go down and it's the big Viking dude. He's pretty straightforward. Second boss is like slag pot looking motherfucker. He's whatever. Third boss is um, the lightning wind dude or whatever. I like him. He's really cool. And then fourth boss is uh, the final guy. And his boss fight's kind of dumb. But I really like the aesthetic of Halls of Lightning. I think it's, I think it's probably near the end of Solid. Uh, Halls of Stone, I think we can all agree, is the absolute worst dungeon. Uh, now, it does have Bronzebeard in it, who's the absolute goat. 
uh, of the whole thing, but it's just, it's so long and drawn out. The one fight, I don't even know what it's called. We all know what it is. It's absolutely the worst thing ever. Uh, the first two bosses are boring, and the final boss is boring. I I don't have anything good to say about Halls of Stone except Bronze Beard, and I will not go unless someone really needs help. Uh, Calling of Strathom. I think you could argue it being the best dungeon in the whole entire thing. Uh, Lore-wise, it's jam-packed. You get to see Arthas going through Strathom and killing everybody. Like, that's the whole dungeon. Uh, the first little bit is, like, I think the first two bosses, or actually the first three bosses are really kind of boring, but the everything that's going on, it's like an event. You know, you got to go in and kill these dudes, and then they keep spawning more, and you got to get through, like, ten, you know, cycles of people, and then you can move on. And Arthas is there the whole time, and I, I think it's really, really, really fun. And I'm a big lore nerd with World of Warcraft, and it's, like, the perfect dungeon for lore. Now... There's three of them here that are not out yet. Um, Trials of the Champion comes out in Phase 3. And then the Forge of Souls, Pit of Saron, and Halls of Reflection all come out uh, Phase 4, I believe, right? They come out with ICC. So we're going into Phase 2 with Old Juar. Phase 3 is Trial of the Champion, Crusader, and then Phase did I do that right? Four? Uh, regardless. Uh, Trial of the Champion. I'm a big fan of that dungeon. It's a lot of fun because I'm... I don't know. It's The whole Trial of the Crusade, Trial of the Champion stuff, I really enjoyed. Like, they introduced, like, a jousting mechanic. Even though it's a little wonky, I think it was super fresh and super, like, new to the game and was just fun. The dungeon's a lot of fun. The Black Knight's in there. Like... Like, it, it's like, it, it feels like medieval times. It's really fun. I'm not the biggest fan of the raid, personally. I I like the raid because it's straightforward. It's just bosses. There's no, like, there's, I don't think there's any trash. I think it's all the bosses. And it did introduce the first, and maybe only? Man, there was one fight in Pandaria where you had to do against, like, I don't know. I don't think they've ever done anything like Trial of the Champion where you have to fight a squad of Alliance players. They're NPCs, but like they have like character spells and shit. Like you gotta fight a Resto Druid and a Arms Warrior and like all this type of shit. And it's a really fun fight. Um, but, that, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the dungeons. Trial of the Champion is great and also has a really cool looking sword that looks sus as fuck. Uh, Forge of Souls, Pit of Sauron, and Halls of Reflection are all arguably in the excellent tier. I think Pit of Sauron is the worst of the three, but it's probably better than all of them. And Halls of Reflection is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody, just in case that you haven't, uh, you didn't get to play Wrath back in the day, or you haven't revisited these in retail, but I promise you, they are probably the best dungeons that they made not only atmospheric wise but lore wise and story wise they're amazing so that wraps it up for our tier list let me know if you agree or disagree we'll go check out the community rank uh no one has done it cool well, i'm the first person to post this one so i'll post it the community rank let me know what you guys think uh thank you so much for watching and uh have a great rest of your day bye Wait, wait, I never say bye. Peace.